All right, let's not break a rib on three, right? One, two. What's up, Bells of Steel, Coach King back with another video today. We are hitting some deadlifts with our bare naked power bar. Uh, gonna load up some weight, just over about 500 pounds and test it out, see how the bar does compared to some deadlift bars and the other uh, power bars we use in our gym. This might be the first time I've pulled. This is the first time that I have deadlifted with our bare naked power bar since before I tore my bicep. So it's the first time I've actually done a deadlift from the floor with a power bar post bicep operations. So that actually be kind of, I'm curious to see how that changes the pull. The bare naked power bar you see in today's video is a standard 20 kilo or 44 pound bar. It's built to IPF specs and it has a maximum capacity of 1500 pounds. Well, if it wasn't for the hole in the floor here, the deadlift jack works pretty well. Caught the mic. That felt a lot better with the hunters on there, actually. So, I, mean, I haven't talked a lot about the bar so far in the warm-up sets. Um, I did mention at the very beginning of the session that this is my first time pulling with a straight bar from the floor since I uh, ruptured this bicep. Um, it's been about a year and a half now, two years, close to. Um, we use deadlift bars around here on the gym. Um, I have always been better pulling out of stiff bar though. Um, and so I'm curious to see how it feels coming back. So far it feels great on the arm, which some of these, the bare naked bars, um, you, I mean, at least in my experience, they've, they've had kind of sharp knurling. This right here, this is one of our newer ones, and I feel like they finally hit the knurling just perfect, especially if you're gonna use it as an all-purpose bar. Um, you could pull heavy deadlifts on this, and you're not gonna tear calluses open. I mean, you can see a couple tracks right there in my, in my palm a little bit, um, but it's not actually pulling on those calluses, it's just kind of sitting snug. Um, obviously, once we get some more weight on here, that'll actually see, but um, I also can set hook with this bar pretty easily. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall, and I've got, chubby little hands, so setting hook grip's kind of hard for me, but um, this part feels great. This one will be the decider if we go up any higher without a bow right now. The rib feels good. We'll put over five plus on the bar and pull something. I feel like that that's the true test of a decent power bar anyways. If you get over 405, I mean, yeah, most gym bars, even the cheapest gym bars can handle it. Um, anything over five, 600 pound range, um, as long as the bar still feels good, doesn't have excessive whip, um, which this thing so far, like I said, has felt perfect. Not incredibly stiff, but like I said, not whippy at all. Um, not forgiving off the floor like a deadlift bar either. So. Felt exactly the same as the last set. <laughs> Just move a little slower. I, I don't, I know I look great. I wasn't saying I don't look great, all right? 300 pounds or not, all right? I am a docile creature. I am a father now, all right? I can't be acting a fool. All right, let's not break a rib on three, right? One, two. <laughs> Bells of Steel, bare naked power bar. Certified for your mediocre 515 pound deadlifts. <laughs> Certified for your average everyday gym deadlifts. If you want to go heavy, obviously, I personally, before my bicep tear, had over 600 pounds on one of these bars, an older generation, um, that didn't feel nearly as nice as this one in the hand and it still held up great. So while I'm not quite that strong right now, um, I'm confident if I wanted to take my deadlift well into the sixes and even 700 pound range, this bar is going to have no issue. Um, that pull felt super smooth again. It, it was consistent all the way up. I still don't think we really loaded it with enough um, to kind of make a difference. Um, like I said, a good power bar should be able to handle 500 pounds, no problem, and this one handled 500 pounds, no problem. So 
most anything you'd throw at it in a home gym setting unless you're you know a part of the one percent uh, freak population um, it's going to take whatever you can throw at it so hey folks gave on here founder of bells of steel i hope you love that video be sure to click on the link in the description if you want to get those products for your own home gym don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let the game begin.